Write the equation for 3 times the sum of a number and the square of another number is 5 less than the difference of the cube of the second number and 5 times the first number. Now that's pretty long, but we're going to follow the same strategy. I have to assign variables to unknowns, and in this case there's actually two unknowns. It says the sum of a number and the square of another number. So there's actually two numbers. I'm going to let the first number be called x. That's a number, and then another number tells me there's a second number, which I'm going to represent as y. So I have my two variables, and now, especially because this is a long equation, I need to figure out where the equal sign goes. Three times the sum of a number and the square of another number is. Is tells me that this first half, this whole long phrase, equals everything that comes after. Working first with the left side of the equation and translating that into numbers, variables, and arithmetic operations. Three times, okay, so I've got three times, and it's three times the sum of these two terms. Three times the sum of a number. I decided to call the first number x, so it's going to be three times x, and so the sum of x plus the square of another number. Well, the other number is y and they want me to square that. So I have the left half done. Three times the sum of a number and the square of another number is equals. Here's where things get a little more complicated because what they want is five less than the difference of the cube of the second number and five times the first number. When you see five less than, the temptation is actually to write five minus, but that's incorrect because it's saying that what comes after needs to be subtracted by five. If I say that Justin's age is five less than Taylor's, I'm actually gonna take Taylor's age and subtract five. So when you see something less than, you actually put minus at the end. So five less than tells me that minus five is gonna go way over there, and I'm gonna subtract from the phrase that comes after. Okay, so I have my minus five, and now I need to figure out what I'm supposed to be subtracting five from. And it's saying that it's, I'm subtracting it from the difference of the cube of the second number, so the difference between two terms. And one term is the cube of the second number. The second number is y. So y cubed, and they want the difference. So the y cubed and five times the first number. Going back to check, three times the sum of a number and the square of another number. So three times x, plus y squared is equals five less than. So subtract five from the difference of the cube of the second number, y cubed, minus five times the first number, which is x. So this equation is translated from the sentence that we were given. 